The Afghan police get just $2 extra a day for operating in a combat zone. But their monthly pay packet still adds up to less than the Taliban pay their fighters. Every day they face the prospect of roadside bombs, snipers or an ambush as they patrol the countryside around Kandahar. This outpost guards the main highway from Kabul. At the time we arrived there, press reports were coming in that Admiral Mike Mullen, the chairman of the US Joint Chiefs of Staff, had arrived in Afghanistan. He was quoted as saying they'd never had the force density in Kandahar to really own all the extreme approaches. But their forces, he said, had now been able to really slice down on a lot of the traditional avenues into the city. He should try coming here. This is the Afghan government's front line, just an hour's drive away from the center of Kandahar city. And it's manned not by the army, but by the police. Those mountains behind me mark the beginning of the Shawalakot district. That's total Taliban territory. This hillside is manned by just 20 policemen. They don't have any radio contact with their base. Mobile phones don't work here. If it comes under attack, they can't let anybody know. If they get wounded, they can't arrange casualty evacuation. And that's not the worst of it. Most of their magazines are empty. Three of Mohammed's brothers were in the police force, but one of them was killed last year when he ran out of ammunition fighting the Taliban. If I don't see from the police, who will do it? It's the only thing I know how to do, but sometimes I get very sick of it. The local police chief pays what he can for his men's ammunition out of his own pockets. The same goes for the diesel for their vehicles. He knows what it's like out here. We went for 14 days surrounded by the Taliban. We were fighting all the time and we began to run out of ammunition. Food ran out on the first day. The villagers helped us, but the Taliban got so close even that became impossible. We had no backup at all, nothing. It was only by chance we got out when two NATO tanks happened to come by. The new American strategy is to hold and build in Afghanistan. These policemen are holding onto this hill by their fingernails. If they see an infiltration by the Taliban, they've got to think each time if it's worth engaging them in a firefight. Their morale is as low as their stock of bullets. David Chater, Al Jazeera, Kandahar.